Hi, thanks for checking out MemSQL Helios. My name is Gim, and I am a product manager here at MemSQL. Let's do a quick walkthrough of the MemSQL Studio. When your cluster has finished reconciling, click on the MemSQL Studio button to connect to Helios database. After logging in, you can see several things on your dashboard. Cluster health, which shows you the status of all your nodes, and cluster usage, which shows you how much resources you are using. You'll notice that even though you selected to create a four node Helios cluster, there are actually seven nodes running. The three extra nodes are the master aggregator and two child aggregators. These aggregators farm out queries to the four leaf nodes and aggregate data back from the leaf nodes to the requester. The master can accept all commands, including DDL commands, like create table and drop table, while the child aggregators can only accept DML commands like select and insert. Don't forget to explore other interesting menu items on the left, like events, databases, and visual explain. I'll let you explore those on your own. Next, I'd like to show you a short demo that demonstrates the power of Helios. Imagine that we're part of an analytics team working in an online cosmetic store. We've collected over 20 million user events for five months from October 2019 to February 2020. This data is stored in five CSV files in AWS S3, and each line represents an event such as remove from cart, purchase, or view cart, and also contains other useful information such as the timestamp and price information. First, we'll want to load the user behavior data into Helios as quickly as possible. We can go to the SQL editor and use standard ANSI SQL statements to create the necessary database and tables. Next, we will create a pipeline to ingest the data from the S3 bucket. As you can see, ingesting over 20 million rows of data only takes a few seconds, allowing us to make analytical queries immediately. Let's check if the data was correctly ingested by quickly inspecting the first 100 rows. Now, since the five months of data cover our most crucial end of year shopping season, let's see which of the holidays have generated the most purchases. Before we do that, let's create a holiday table and insert all the dates of holidays in the United States. Now let us run a query to find out the volume of shopping events during each of the holidays. Surprisingly, Veterans Day and MLK days are more popular than Christmas for our cosmetic store. We should inform the purchasing department to increase the inventory to handle the extra traffic next year during these holidays. To help the purchasing department decide what items to increase inventory of, let's run a query to find out what is the top cosmetic brand purchased during each of the holidays. We can also provide the purchasing team with this guidance on which price range is most popular with customers. It seems that items costing around the $6 range has the most activity so the purchasing department should increase the inventory of these items. In this short demo, we've seen how fast and easy it is to load tens of millions of rows of data into Helios, perform complex analytical queries over the entire set of 20 million rows of data, and return results quickly, enabling an analyst to quickly discover new insights into their business. We hope that Helios will be able to help you with your most challenging operational analytic workloads too. Once again, Thank you for checking out MemSQL Healers.